How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Today I want to talk to you about a new token that's really interesting to me. It's one that I think could do really well this next bull market and is just coming to the market on December 5. I want to talk about it, talk about whether it's something that you might be interested in. They're making a lot of big partnerships with government agencies already. Uh, and it's one that I think you should put on your radar for the next bull market. Now, the token itself is the FIRE token. If you haven't heard about it, it's probably because they are just coming to the market now. But they have a lot of big partnerships, as I said. We're going to walk through it, talk about the new exchange listing that they have here in just a few days. But uh, I'll leave links to it underneath the video so you can look at it even more in depth. Uh, this is a partner of the channel. It's one that I've actually wanted to work with for a while because they are growing uh, a lot. Like a lot of people are hearing about them. They're bigger on the other side of the world. They're really big in India. Uh, but I want to cover it here before they hit the market. So on December 5, they are going to do an exchange listing. But we'll talk a, lot, a little bit more about that later. This is a layer one blockchain that's really focusing on sustainability. That's really, again, their main focus. And uh, they're launching as an ERC-20 token, but they will have a uh, bridge here soon. Now, like I said, they've been growing in popularity a lot. They have about 470,000 followers over on Twitter. And their main focus uh, over the next couple weeks is this launch. So they kind of tease us for a little while where it's going to be. It's going to be on Bybit. They already have a token launch pad uh, page. Again, we'll talk a little bit more about this later. First, let's talk about what their blockchain is. They are uh, focusing on sustainable blockchain with an, embed with an embedded consensus mechanism uh, focused on sustainability. So you can learn more about their SPOS, Sustainable Proof of Stake, here uh, and just going through it they say that the rewards are calculated using the base rewards along with a sustainable uh, with a sustainability score derived from the esg environmental social and government scores which reflect the commitment of validators to the 17 united nations sustainability development goals and the re reliability score the base rewards are determined Similarly to industry standards with points allocated for producing canonical blocks and referencing non-canonical blocks. So you can go into a little bit more uh, detail on this if you want underneath the video. But I think a lot of people right now are kind of over ESG. But I think, I think there is a big case to be made for just being environmentally friendly because it's more likely that governments are willing to use your cryptocurrency or allow it to uh, work, uh, allow you to sell it on exchanges if it's ESG friendly, if it's environmentally friendly. And that's kind of their big, uh, their big calling card. That's what they are focused on. Now, they have already built out a lot of their ecosystem recently, the Fire Chain Explorer, which allows you to click around and see uh, the amount of transactions on the chain, uh, look at some of the transactions, look at the number of nodes, that kind of stuff. They also have their Testnet Faucet, which is a web-based service that provides mock Fire coins to users of the Testnet. They also have the validator application, which provides a user-friendly interface for validators to monitor and manage their nodes. They have the Nominator application, which provides a user-friendly interface for nominators to monitor and manage the nominated stake and associated validators. They also have the IDE, the icon panel, uh, allows the users to switch between different plugins displayed on the side panel. By clicking on the icons, the user can access and change the plugin they want to use so there's more information on this as well. Uh, and they also have their wallet, the Sire or the Fire Chain wallet. I think I say Sire sometimes because I see this as an S, but the Fire Chain wallet as well, where you can download it onto Chrome. So these are kind of the building blocks of a sustainable and efficient ecosystem. Now they've also worked with a variety of governments already. The Indian government uh, their Apex Policy, Public Policy Think Tank, NITIAG, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, announced on Monday 
the launch of a blockchain module in collaboration with CryptoFocus Fire and Network Capital, a mentorship and career exploration platform. According to the release, the CEO of of Fire emphasized the endless possibilities that await young students and how they could use blockchain to solve the 17 SGDs. So this is possibly going into 10,000 Indian schools and could help definitely spread uh, the word of fire as well. Now, it's not just the Indian government. They also uh, said that they are going to be working with the police to deploy a blockchain-based technology for smart policing. They're going to be working together to leverage the blockchain technology to build solutions for a smart and robust police system that enhances accountability, transparency, and citizen access and interaction with the law enforcement agencies. And it's not just overseas either. They're also working with Nebraska. Uh, They say FIRE and the City of Alliance, Nebraska, joined hands to develop smart policing systems here. Uh, This is in Nebraska, USA. The MOU will help develop smart and robust policing for the city, similar to what we talked about in the last article. And uh, they also are working with another government agency, um, the Ministry of Agriculture in Nigeria as well. Now, they're working with a lot of different governments. They're working with a lot of different agencies within those governments, and they're starting to gain in popularity they are going on the Bybit Launchpad. Uh, actually, they're already on the Bybit Launchpad. So if you want to get earlier access to this, you can always go um, and become a member of this. I don't really use Bybit too much, but uh, they have allocated about 3.4 million fire tokens. The whole supply is going to be about 1.5 billion fire tokens. So they've allocated a small amount to this launch pad. Uh, but you could always get in earlier from there. They say that the uh, price will be about 0.06 USDT. So the the fully diluted market cap based on this price is around $90 million. So if this does become pretty popular in the next bull run, obviously it could do quite well. Uh, even the 100th largest crypto is around a $500 million market cap as of now. So, I mean, we're talking about like a 5X if it were to become in the top 100. And that's not assuming even that it goes, that the whole market goes up during the next bull run. Like, I think the 100 largest cryptocurrency was around a billion, maybe last bull market. So, assuming this continues to grow uh, and continues to be used more, the, t- the token has good utility and... There are a lot of people interested in it. Again, I think it could do pretty well in the next bull run. Now, of course, we have to continue to see them grow out use cases, utility, uh, see where they go, what different exchanges they go after Bybit as well. That is one of the larger exchanges, but uh, I would like to see them continue to go on to more exchanges after this, see uh, what kind of business they can drum up as well uh, and continue to see if they make those big partnerships. Now, let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video. Again, I'll leave a link to it underneath the video. Uh, Fire is a partner of the channel. You can check out more information. As always, I'm not telling you to buy or sell any kind of cryptocurrencies. I can't tell you to do that. I'm just telling you some information on it and you have to make your own decision. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.